Good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming and waiting in the cold through that security. It was a long trek, I know, and thank you for doing that. We uh, obviously had to do that with uh, Secretary of State coming today, so appreciate the way you waited out there. And uh, welcome to the third day of the Women in the World Summit. It's going to be fantastic. How many of you are still floating on air after Anna Netrebko's exquisite performance last night? <laughs> How many of you are still fired up by the call of Nobel Peace Prize winner Nima Bowie to be our own Gandhis? <laughs> and how many of you are still amused by the thought that someone would actually complain that Nancy Pelosi, a mother of five, thinks that she knows more about having babies than the Pope? <laughs> Now, if you've missed any of those wonderful moments or if you'd like to relive them, just visit the Daily Beast website where it was all streamed yesterday and it's all there. Now, on this last day together, we still have some precious ground yet to cover. We'll hear more about the outrageous and courageous courage of Suma, a former indentured servant in Nepal. She's returning to the stage to tell us and sing her incredibly inspiring story. We'll hear from two formidable sisters crusading for justice, We'll learn how brave, one brave American woman in Senegal is enlisting men to topple generations-old traditions dangerous to women, and so much more. And the climax of our day, two icons on one stage, Meryl Streep and Hillary Clinton, will bring the summit to a close. A memorable capper to our two days. Let us begin.